everybody. This video is going to be on advanced CD, DVD, Blu-ray, ISO, creation, editing, manipulation, copying. I know that was a lot. This application is basically like the Roxio or the Nero of the Windows world. It's a single application that really composes a lot of the needs of CD, DVD, Blu-ray, all into one application. If this was on a store shelf, this application would have a lot of checkbox on its box. Okay, first thing we have to do is got to, we have to get this application on our on our install. If you already have Culfer installed, it's just a simple matter of control and space, and then just typing K3B. Hitting enter, you get prompted for your password, which I already typed, and then it goes through the install process. This is a um, KDE application I'm installing on Ubuntu, which means the install for it is going to be a much larger install than normal. This is the double-edged sword of a modularized operating system. If I'm in the KDE desktop envi environment or Kubuntu, the install would be a second done. Here we go. Since I'm doing it in GNOME, it, it actually has to download over 200 megabytes of data to do this install. Now tomorrow, if I install another KDE-based application, the install will just be a split second because it already has all of the libraries needed. Uh, I heavily encourage people to use this application for virtually all higher end or demanding uh, tasks involving CD, DVD, or Blu-ray. Now if I do a quick Google search on K3B, the Wikipedia article has a very nice description of what K3B is and what it does. It says K3B from the original project called KDE Burn Baby Burn, Burn Baby Burn 3Bs K3B, is a CD and DVD authoring application for the KDE desktop environment for Unix-like computer operating systems. It provides a graphical user interface to perform most CD and DVD burning tasks, like creating an audio CD from a set of audio files, copying a CD or DVD, as well as more advanced tasks such as burning eMovix, E M O V I X. That's a higher end uh, way of burning movies. It can also perform direct disk to disk copies. This application can do virtually anything you can imagine with a disk or involving a disk. Um, once the application is installed, you can either go to your Applications menu under Sound and Video, and right there is K3B, or again with Culfer, you just type K3B, and the application is ready to roll. Okay, when you launch, when you load this application, because it's based off the KDE environment, and we're in the GNOME environment, we're going to notice it's going to look slightly different than what your standard GNOME application will look like. It does a pretty good job of still looking very useful. Now, if you change your theme around, your uh, title bar and your file menu bar will change, but virtually nothing else in the application will change. I'm personally okay with that. First time we launch this, I'm in a VM, and it does not see my uh, DVD burner. So I get a notification that says, no CD, DVD, or Blu-ray writer was found. Basically letting me know some of the options in this application will not be available to me at this time. Go ahead and hit close. Uh, here's the tips that pop up. I highly encourage new users to this application to either leave this box checked for like the first week that you use it, or when the tips pop up, go ahead, cycle through a couple of them, and get a feel of how powerful this application is. When you actually get into the meat and potatoes, there's a nice wizard on the very bottom of this screen to create a new data project or a data CD, DVD, or Blu-ray, to create a new audio CD project, to copy a CD, D, DVD, or Blu-ray, and then there's more actions. These more actions are pretty in-depth and pretty cool from rip audio CD, video CD, video DVD, copy, format, and erase a rewritable disc. 
Uh, mixed mode CD project is very interesting. Um, continue multi session project. This is uh, this enables you to reauthor CDs or DVDs very quickly. It, with data, it works especially good. Um, the middle screen is really more like a file browser. It's how you can add files to a project or take them out of project. Right here is the new project button. This is pretty much the same options. And every time you pick one of these options, you basically go through a wizard of selecting what files you want to add to the project. It's just right here in the bottom. And you just go through, browse your files, browse your folders, find the, uh, find the appropriate ones. Go ahead and hit um, add. And then when you're ready to roll, right there's a burn button. Virtually every single project adheres to this standard of the bottom window changes, the top is your browse window, add your video files to your video DVD, add your audio files to your audio CD, so forth and so on. Um, this application really does have a lot of um, con a lot of configuration options as well. This is your typical Linux ability built into application. Um, to where you can go in and you can set up a whole myriad of hotkeys to perform any task you want at any time. Um, very, very cool. Um, to configure the application, you can also download themes, give it a totally different look. Plugins, it's extensible. I've never seen a bad application that has plugins. Uh, you can uh, customize your devices. Uh, you can customize how it reacts with outside applications. Most of this, most people will never even have to touch or go into. This application just works. Um, if anyone uh, is at all involved with creating CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays, or ISOs, or ripping or burning, I highly encourage you to install this application and have at it. We're going to move on to the next video.